Hi guys, welcome to the video. This is my solo run on this week's Master Nightfall. I've already done it on this character, but this is something a little bit different. This is going to be a reoccurring theme that I'm going to do each week, which is a themed Nightfall. I've been thinking about doing these for years and haven't actually done them. So as you can see, all the weapons I'm going to be using are Trials of Osiris weapons, which is the theme. I'll be using only Trials of Osiris weapons. So we've got the Messenger, we've got Shiara's Wrath, and we've got Reed's Regret. I've got Outlaw Kill Clip on the Messenger, which is my Unstoppable. Uh, Shariah's Wrath is Dynamic Sway and Kill Clip, which is my Overload. And I've got Clown Cartridge and Firing Line on my Linear Fusion Rifle. Uh, you can pause the video if you so wish to, to have a look at all the mods. But the main ones are Ashes to Assets on my Helmet, Volatile Flow on my Gauntlets, Elemental Ordnance on my chest plate with Double Void Resist, uh, recuperation and Bountiful Wells on my Leg Armor and Lucent Finisher, Overload Grenades and Seeking Wells on my Bond. And the reason for those will become apparent as we're going through. I will, I will try and give you guys exactly why I'm using each one. But the point of this is, is just using a themed loadout. So I'll be doing, as I say, I'll be supporting this series every week. Doing each nightfall, I'll do, I'll do a, a normal run. And then I'll do a run using uh, whatever weapons from, from any activity that can support the champion. So obviously we've got SMG uh, Pulse Rifle for Overlords and Unstoppable. So Charles has got two pretty decent ones of those. So I felt like this would be a good starting point. So when you come in, you're going to load in, in the, the throne world and the open world. And you'll make it to here. And in this area, we're going to have a bunch of ads encroaching us. And we're going to have two unstoppables. And as you can see, I've got uh, overload grenade on. So I can just stop them with a grenade. And then I can do it again. And that clears all the other kind of trash mobs. Now, because of all the action that's happening in front of me, I can't actually see the overload. So... We never managed to get him stopped with that grenade, but it's fine because Shira's Wrath can uh, do the business here. I'll get one more shot on him and then I'll have to switch. And as you can see, if you don't put sustained damage on him, what you'll see me trying to do as much as possible whenever feasible is I'll be trying to use the weapons over constant grenades, although, spoiler alert, there's going to be a lot of grenades. Now, as you can see, I've got Seeking Wells on, which means any wells I drop... Within, within reason, will come towards me. So, I will be trying to get as many kills with the Trails weapons as possible, although, in this in this uh, strike, it's a, it's a really well thought out kind of strike. Uh, I, I, like, I like the add density and, you know, the different styles of encounters. So, we've got this unstoppable here. There is a mini boss as well. So, I'll put a couple of shots on him with... The unstoppable with the Shariahs, uh, the, the Linear Fusion Rifle, Reads Regret, and there's just a couple of ads here we're just going to clear. Now, Shire's Wrath, it's okay, the SMG, it's, it's more than okay, it's, it's a really good SMG. Uh, but uh, it's really, it's really going to benefit, you see all these whales when I pick them up. It's really going to benefit from those volatile rounds. Uh, and obviously, because uh, void damage is increased in here, you do 25% more, but you take 50% more. Hence why we've got double void uh, resist on, which gives us 40% resistance against void damage. So, effectively, it's only 10% extra void. Uh, I will be throwing at my fair amount of grenades, as I've said, but I am, whenever feasible, I am going to try and get kills with the weapons, just to show that... You know, even with the optimized loadouts, you can do it with other loadouts, you know. And I'll try and do raid ones, I'll try and do... Uh, the one I always had planned to do, right from the start, the very first thing I was going to do, was I was going to do an Iron Banner. Uh, an Iron Banner themed Nightfall, where, where I use not just the weapons, but all the armor as well. So I might do that as time goes on with the activities. Uh... I don't think I've got a full set of Trails armor for the Warlock. If I have, I've probably got rid of half of it. Uh, you see there, the, once I get close enough to the whales, uh, and it's not even like right at them. You'll see here with this one. I mean, it's a, it's a good spread. And once I get them, I get volatile rounds, which helps with explosive explosions. You know, in this part here, 
I am getting kills with a grenade, but I'm still trying to use the weapon uh, to get kills with the weapon. You know, I'm not wanting to just be, hey, I'm using trails weapons. Look at all these grenades. <laughs> what trails weapon throws grenades constantly? You know, so it's just it's just a help. You know, the the grenade the grenades are really strong, but I'm wanting to at least, you know, forty fifty percent uh with uh with weapons. Reed's Regret is a weapon I've wanted to use in the nightfall for quite some time because I figured I'd have, I've got a pretty good one. Uh, it's not it's not gold bro, liquid liquid coils, uh firing line, clown cartridge, but it's it definitely doesn't it doesn't speak to a solo player because obviously firing line's better if you're in a fire team, so you know, I would have liked a Vorpal one. Uh, but I, I don't think I've got one. I've got an adept one. The first time I went trials after trials, uh, flawless and trials after it came out. Which may I add, I'm saying the first time, the only time because I don't really play trials every weekend. So the only time I've went flawless and trials since it's came back, I got the adept reach regret. So, again, you know, you come in, you activate this plate, back away the stairs, clear the ads, and then you can get this plate. You can capture this plate with uh, no ads encroaching you. As we go further on, there's another section where there's two plates that when I done my original run, I was like, I I'm not even sure I'm doing this the right way. I wasn't doing it the right way. Now, it worked, but I wasn't doing it the right way. And the right way is to stand on the plate. Right, the faster, the more longer you spend on the plate, uh, the longer you spend on the plate, the faster everything goes. And and, and if, if you look, if you do a comparison between this run and my last run, I actually get less kills in this run. And that's because I, I had to kill less ads at the plates. Now, I've got Kill Clip Outlaw on, on, on my uh, Pulse Rifle. So if I do get Kill Clip going, it really... It really, really does does a fair bit of damage. But out of all these weapons, out of these three weapons, it was it was the Reach Regret that really surprised me how good it is. And I don't know why it surprised me. You can see here this pulse rifle. It's it's not the best, even with kill clip. It's not what I would class as a PVE weapon. Takes too many bursts. To put anything down, but again, I I still wanted to use it. I use it a fair bit in here, just just so that I could say, you know, that I had used it. Uh, I, and and in PVE actually, I've got I've got about because this is an old this is an old one. I can't remember when I actually got this one to start with, but this is an old one. Uh, I'm gonna try and take him from here. I don't think... Do I get him? There we go. Reach regret for you. Just, you know, really good range as well. Uh, yeah, I, I got... I got... I got my... I got all my Trails weapons a while ago. So, th this messenger has got about 6,500 kills on it. I think I got it when, when Trails was around the first time. Uh, so that's the two champions there. Uh, I like to take the two champions from over here because if, if not, it, especially the Overload can be a nightmare push up on top of and then we can just come up here and uh, finish off the, the last two ads. Shayura, as I knew, was a good SMG. I'd never really tried it in PV, PvE, hence I didn't actually have any kills on this weapon or the Reads of Regret because this is my normal Reads. As I say, I've got an Adept one as well. Uh, I didn't want to use any Adept Trials weapons because... Everybody can go and get the weapons I'm using now. You know, kind of got lost here. There we go, right behind you. Uh, everybody can get these, you know. It's not so easy to just go and get adept weapons. Not not even for me, not that I'm some great Crucible player. Uh, but, uh, right, so we're out in the kind of aztec kind of temple section. I'm going to do the exact same thing. I'm going to drop a grenade here. There are going to be points where I rely on the grenade, obviously. You know, we're on a Warlock. Why we're on a Warlock? Because the grenade's great. <laughs> the super's pretty good as well. But, like I said, I am actually going to try and get a 
heap of weapon kills because I don't I don't really want to you know put this out there I, I, I hate clickbait I can't stand clickbait so I don't want to put this out you know only using trails weapons whenever I kill an ad with weapons so we know we've got this uh, overload oh switch to Shirias for any close range shenanigans there's, there's a part coming up I believe at the boss we'll just try and get my super while the, the overload's stopped use my melee just to stop this ad pushing there we go and I'll move back uh, there's a part coming just in, in the boss room I believe where uh, I uh, just put my rift in there I was jumping over a section and I got froze by one of those ads as I was jumping. I thought it was the end of the run up, I'm being honest. Uh, and luckily, it wasn't. So I waste a couple of shots here because he just runs away. Once I broke his shield, he just runs away. Uh, got heavy up here. Yeah, so I jump from one section to another and get froze by one of those ravagers. And luckily, because the freeze doesn't last la last that long, I managed to save the jump, which was which was which was handy. So I've got I've got that that uh, chieftain down. I've got hit, broke his shield using the void. So I'm just waiting for my rift because he hit me pretty hard there. And I don't know if they've done anything to uh, match game, but the the shields the. The, the resistance against different elements doesn't seem nearly as obnoxiously strong as it used to. So, you know, I put a Void Grenade on that solar and even with the Shariahs, uh, I uh, I managed to take down that solar shield really easily. Uh, this is the dark section. I said this in my first run. I will say it in this run. This is one of the two areas that you will revisit at the boss. So when you get to the boss... Uh, during during the different phases, uh, once you've done enough damage and the boss goes into his immunity phase, you will get teleported to one of two areas to redo it. This is one of them, and the other one, I'll, pl I'll, I'll tell you what the second one is when we get to it, but this is the first one that you'll visit. It seems like they do it in order of the areas that you do within the strike. So it's literally just, you've got a couple of these smaller ads in front of you, you just just pick them off from range as you can see them i the reason why i keep pushing them away with the with the messenger as i've got a uh, high cow so it, it's it really kind of flinches them but it flinches them that much that the feet leave the floor if only I'd done that in crucible it actually is quite good for crucible it used to be i haven't used it in crucible for quite some time i haven't played crucible for quite some time uh so the two raiders are really what you've got to worry about there. Once we push over, you are going to see another uh, spawn. Once we take out these last enemies, we are going to get, I think you get two spawns per area. So I'm just going to put a grenade down there, take this one out here, and just like, because they're screeps, I have no problem with just tossing a grenade and letting the grenade do the business. So we'll just grab this. We've got an, we've got a, an overload up here so he's shielded so I'll put I'll put my grenade in between the overload and oh, in between the overload and his kind of tether and it takes the tether out and then stops him so that's that area done that's the first area you're going to revisit during the, the first uh, that's going to be the first immunity phase at the boss so we're going to push down here uh, you're going to have two uh, unstoppables. Now, if anybody remembers my, uh, whoever watched my original run, this unstoppable on the right, he he come up right behind me and uh, nearly ended the run. We're not going to be giving him the chance to do that again. So he's almost dead, so we'll just finish him with the pulse rifle. So we know that the other overload, uh, unstoppable, sorry, my apologies, the other unstoppables went round to the right there he is, so I'm just going to throw my Nova, and that should finish him totally. So, we've got a mod on our helmet. Now, you'll hear a lot of people talk about this mod. 
It's very good on the Warlock, especially if you've got decent discipline, you're getting your grenades back, which is ashes to assets. In this next area, every time I throw a grenade, I'm going to get about a third of my super from it. Ridiculous. So this is the play area I was telling you about that I didn't, couldn't remember what I had to do here. Or I, I didn't know what I had to do. Well, now you're going to see this time I decided. Uh, let's, uh, I'll just throw another grenade there because, you know, reasons. And you'll see every time I get a canal, a kill, a canal. Every time I get a canal, <laughs> uh, you see there, there's the boss come out a lot quicker this time. I'm still not going to leave the plate. And then you'll see the plate pulse. And then it will say resonance slabs disabled one of two. That is how quickly you can do that if you stay on, if you actually stay on the plate. So it is about how long you spend on the plate. Just go over here, collect any kind of ammo or you know anything that's lying about now this second plate didn't quite go as smoothly as the first plate so i i get the boss out quite quickly but i think i was left between a rock and a hard place i didn't have a grenade and in this area with the invisible screeps i really don't want to be left with having to get weapon kills so i'll we'll throw a grenade there and then i'm just gonna burn my super i want that initial couple of uh you know five five to ten seconds on the plate so hopefully i get a heap of kills with the original which i didn't i didn't get enough now i've got you know back away as i say i've got the boss out then he tethered and now i've got to clear these ads but i can't i can't stay engaged for too long so i'm gonna have to go up here i'm taking hits as you can see i'm gonna go up behind this pillar put my rift down Got my grenade, uh, but I'm just going to clear out some of these ads using the weapons. The weapons were really strong, if I'm being honest. Uh, and then, the, 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 as I say, Shariah's was definitely the pick. Uh, if I was to do this again, I would I would have no problems using Shariah's again. So we're just going to drop that on the Screebs. Which I really shouldn't have. So we'll try and get some multiple explosions going here. Pick up this health. And we've got we've got our uh, volatile rounds going as well. So because I've got I'll just put that over there, that should really help. I can get back on this plate. That should really help with uh, use my melee if I need to. That should really help clear those ads. And I'll just put a grenade here. And it means I can kind of push forward a little bit onto the plate. Just use the weapon to help clear them up. And then hopefully this will pulse. And we'll be good. That will be this section done. And there we go. And we'll just put one last grenade up there. Now I can I'll clear these ads over here. Just use my weapons to do that. Uh, like I say, I am going to be throwing a, a, a relatively high amount of grenades but uh i am at least making a token effort to get a heap of weapon kills i keep reiterating that because i don't want people coming in the comments saying stuff like oh yeah charles osiris weapons so the pulse rifle situational because it doesn't hit hard it doesn't hit really hard shariah's is really good uh so we're going to stop this overload and then we'll go back to reed's and Reed's was definitely, uh, definitely a surprise with how good it is. I, 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 w I since I've been since I've been doing these for the past two weeks, I've just been like messing about with weapons. I've actually put on the threaded needle, and was surprised at how bad it was. You know, it's like, it's like they've turned it down to make room for other weapons. Uh, Reed's regret is much better than it feels like it. It feels better, and I've got Vorpal on mine, and I actually used it in here. I actually, it was one of my selection that I was going to use originally, and it just wasn't good enough. There we go. Managed to just save it. Whew. Now, I said in my first run to watch out from ads coming from behind, 
I, I am because I know I'm getting pushed from the other side. I'm just going to clear them so I can get the get the explosion on those two. And there we go. So I didn't. I was just going to use my weapons here to take these ads, you know. Uh, but uh, with with having the two ravagers push us from the, from the other side, I was like, oh no no. Same thing happened here and up here. I, I, I've got overload grenades, so I'm just going to break this. And I tried to time me short, but it caught me on the way back down. Luckily, uh, the grenade is an instantaneous stop. So there we go. That's that's the two overloads down. We'll pick up the heavy, and then we're back through the portal. This section we've just cleared is the second section you'll get teleported to. That'll be the second immunity phase that you'll get teleported into that that area. So we'll just try and clear some of these. I tried to move out the way there. I just clear them up. Shariahs, as I say, I, I have always known Shariahs as, as, a, as, as a very good weapon. I'm really, if I'm being honest, I'm really surprised at how, how the messenger was. It just didn't feel very strong at all. I'm not sure if it was a, uh, what I expected from it, but I expected it to be a little bit better than this. Uh, so I'm going to stop these one of these overloads, and then just try and take them quickly with with uh, with reeds. And then I didn't realise that the grenade had stopped the other one. So I decided if if I could, uh, I would finish them. And what happened was. He started to regen because I, I actually can't tell you why because I don't know because I, uh, I stopped him. You know, I stopped him and then I started hitting him, which should have kept him, that should have kept him finished. But it it it, it doesn't matter. We're gonna still get him with weeds. And there you go. I've got heavy down there. I I just can't I can't sing weeds regrets praise high enough. Uh, it's, it's a it's very good right so so this section here we're right in front of the boss right so I'm looking there's a whole host of ads coming I wanted to at least put some damage on with weapons I don't want to you know I feel like I keep saying that but you guys know what I'm talking about right so I'm gonna have to put this down and I am get I did get pushed quite heavily there from from uh, from ads and that that was unfortunate if I'm being honest because I was hoping to throw that Nova down down at the bottom but you you're gonna see that it didn't actually it didn't actually affect it too much because again Reeds is just a monster so the grenade I've got the way the way the grenade's set up it weakens enemies I'm pretty sure most of you guys will be running something similar right you can see there the can see that the the fonts they wanted they were trying to come me but I pushed away and I think they've only got a limited amount of uh, a limited amount that they can uh, they can push towards you that was a that was a pretty decent grenade I'll break this and hopefully that will finish off the other lurker now there's, uh, there is another boss down there but there's two unstop unstoppable abominations so we're gonna try and land a grenade and just use the grenade once we stop. Once we stop this. So there you go. Two reads regret and the grenade. It's all she wrote. Now this guy here didn't like that. So I decided not to throw my grenade at him. Which might have been a good idea. Just put some reed on the, this boss. I haven't got an absolute ton of reed. So I didn't want to like burn too much. But I think... I think as I push down here, oh, yeah, he disappeared. And he doesn't disappear, he just teleported into cover. Because he, he did not like what he's seen. And what I'm going to have to do is take the boss. Now, I'll just push down a little bit, check to make sure, well, you can see there, there is another ad, but just to make sure that this area is clear of ads. And then we'll take the unstoppable. Because he's just round that corner and minute, he sees me. So I'll just pre-fire pre a nade right into him and then stop him in the nade. And I am just going to put some reed on him. 
the grenade should finish him. And there we go. I'm just going to have a look, make sure that there's, you know, is there any ammo lying about for me? I don't think there was. Uh, and then that's us. That's us at the boss. 24 minutes to get to the boss using using uh, trails weapons is pretty good. Trails weapons with a healthy dose of grenade. So the idea in this room is you're going to want to use your grenade on the waves of ads that come in. I do kind of go between super and read on the boss, but you want to get his, you know, there's going to be an overload come an uns, uh, an overload come in. Yeah, I had it right the first time. Overload come in. I'm just going to throw my my Nova and hopefully get the overload, but put something on the boss. And you see it did. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to try every time a mob spawn in, I'm going to put the grenade on them. What that does, as well as giving me devour, it gives me chance. So there's another wave. Hopefully the next wave spawns with him. No, it spawns over here. We'll just put that in there. The, the grenade will just really clear these ads really quickly. It's not it's not required. It's just you know, it's just really quick. So I'll just grab that health and move away from him. I don't like being in the same place he's in. So they're all tethered, so I need to break the tether, which we've done. I'll tell you what, I pay for that later on that the boss tethering where the ads are. I pay for that because in the last phase of this, uh, the ads are coming back in, in the last phase of this, uh, we've got a super and that is what, uh, that is what Ashes to Assets will do for you. He's shielded, now we've been teleported to the dark area. Ashes to Assets, if you're getting grenade kills, you will just keep getting your super. You know, and you get your super back quite 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 quickly really so we've got our health we picked up some uh some wells which gives us grenade and it, the wells the wells give us I, i've got bountiful grenades but because i've only got one of each mod on i'm only going to get two or three wells from each thing if you put two so if i put two ardent ordnance on i would get like i think four wells from each grenade kill which would really help get your ability, because it gives you all your abilities, but it just gives you more of your least. So if I've just used my grenade, then I'll get more grenade energy back off it. And as you can see there, Hi Cal just pushing this ad back. So when we go over here, it's going to be the same as it was the first time. We're going to get a wave of ads. And in that wave, there's going to be some stalkers. Grenade will take the, the, the raiders, sorry, the, the, the grenade will take those out. And we are going to get, I'm going to try and take out some screebs there. And that brings the next wave of screebs in. So we can clear that one initially from the front. And what I'm going to do is just toss a grenade at the top step. And get them to push up into the grenade. And you can see there how close you've got to be for the well. You, you don't have to be very close at all. To get the to get the the well to move towards you, and then we've got the the overload here. Same again. I'm just going to put the overload but the the grenade between the overload champion and his tether. I wanted to finish him here, but the grenade had other ideas because I wanted I was being greedy. I wanted more more uh, more heavy. So ashes to assets going to come in they play here because we're going to put that that down. We got our super. I'm going to stop this because you get an unstoppable, a normal, uh, a normal abomination, uh, and a bunch of ads. The super kill all of them. So we managed to get that. And you see how much super that one grenade has got me. I'm just going to put a little bit on his face. Uh, and then we'll move, check for, check for our new, new ad spawns. And just take a look at how much super you get from it. Look at that. That's that's ridiculous. Now we can put my super on him, which almost there we go puts us into our next immunity phase, which is the which is this area we've already been to. This, as I said, this will bring you back. And we'll just take this guy out, and then when we get down here, we're gonna we don't have to look round because we've got one coming right in at us. There's another one here. I'll jump out the wave. He's frozen and stuff. Met. 
melee if needs be. I'm going to put a grenade over because then I can check to make sure I'm not being pushed from, from the other side. And I think what happened here, I think what happened is the ad that I was expecting to push uh, actually went round to where the overload is. So I'll just put, jump over, clear out that last enemy. Doing well for heavy, I've got full heavy. But this next, the last section of the boss, did not go the way I wanted it to go, if I'm being honest. So I'll just toss my grenade over. Break, break his tether. And there we go. Easy money. So I was expecting quite an easy run in here. So we're exactly the same as I've just said. Go in, make sure all your weapons are reloaded. Look for the spawn. I'm going to put a grenade down on. If I can get a bunch of kills, it should give me my super. And we took the overload. Uh, we all, sorry, we almost took the overload. So we'll look for the next spawn, right in the centre there. And I'm trying to break the the little tether. So what I'm actually going to have to do here, because now it gets interesting, because the boss, the boss was really, really obnoxious here. Anytime I moved, you see what I'm saying? Anytime I moved, he tried to move in front of me. Luckily, I was getting gr grenades. But the boss just was really aggressive in this last section. He wasn't like this any of the other times. So I put this down and managed to stop the overload. And that's at least the overload taken care of, right? So what, what we're doing here, what I'm trying to do is exactly what I've been doing. Is catch the, the, the spawns. Catch the spawns with a grenade. Uh, and, and then move. But... Because, because the boss and the Overload were putting out lanterns together, it just made it super difficult. I'll just toss a grenade down there. What we really want uh, is to get get those kills, get that Devour propped, and then get away from the boss. Is just like he's on me the whole time here. Put down my rift. Boss is to my left. I've got a grenade, which will kill both of those. I can go over there and get, get this health. And the boss is in front of me again. He was to my left two seconds ago. It, you just... I haven't seen him do this. I've done this strike now a couple of times, and I haven't seen him do what he done here, where he's like... He's everywhere. Anywhere I move, he's in front of me. You know, normally I can predict his movements. So, we will... Just melee him. I've almost got my super. I'm just no. I'm not trying. To, I'm not doing the survive thing. What I'm trying to do is just take these ads out. Uh, get melee on him. What I'm trying to do is clear the ads that that I haven't managed to get cleared. I'll just get them. I'll get this health. The good thing about getting restorative light. You'll see on the left how long it lasts for. It's it's. It's considerable. This grenade here puts us back up, back up, back in front. So we'll break that, and then we'll just take out these two. And that's the last of the ads. It's just me and 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 the boy. And oh look, he put another well done, another tether. So now what I'm gonna do is throw my super. Make sure there's no ads coming in throw my grenade to weaken them and the grenade's hitting them reed's hitting them for about 45 I'll just put my well down and then we'll finish them here if we can there's a brick of heavy and this should be the last shot and there we go guys solo master nightfall using only trails weapons got some good good stuff there uh, like I've already said, I'm going to support this series every week with a run, uh, themed run using weapons from a different activity. As long as those weapons support the activity, you know, obviously if I can't do it because the weapons don't exist in that activity for the champions, then we'll find another another activity. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. I hope you're going to enjoy this series. Uh, leave a like if you did enjoy it, and I'll see you guys in the next video.